How's it going there folks? I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs and this is the Toshiba Glass. CES 2015 coverage is brought to you by Cost Stereophones. Hearing is believing. We're here at the Toshiba booth and one of the most interesting things that I've seen is the Toshiba Glass and this is Toshiba's take on the wearable industry for eyewear. As we've seen in the last couple of months, of course Google Glass was the pilot edition, but we've also seen Sony yesterday to have released a device. Well Toshiba's here with their own version and the reason it's interesting is it's a projection model which uh, you can see there's a little tiny projector here at this angle and then uh, it projects onto a, a lens that reflects the image back into the user's eye but there's still uh, the ability to see through each lens. Now the reason it's cool and the reason I think that Toshiba's really starting to figure it out is it's not at this point in time really aimed towards a consumer. They're trying to do uh, B2B kind of business applications and I think that's where wearable technology, especially eyewear, has the most possibility as of right now. To do integration, uh, call centers, to be able to do all sorts of stuff, uh, field workers who are doing construction and uh, you know, it, I just think it's a much more applicable application than a regular user. And so so because of that, uh, and keep in mind that this is a prototype model, but there's not a battery present. It's connected via a USB cable to the computer that's projecting the information. And Toshiba says that initially they'll be able to use it with smartphones and tablets, the retailers and, of course, the businesses that intend to use it. When it makes it to the consumer market, there's likely to be a, a camera and a battery and, and a more polished, uh, finished version. But I do think that it's interesting, and the other reason that they uh, stated that the projection image is, is advantageous is because it works for uh, people who wear prescription eyewear. Uh, obviously, with Google Glass, you're not going to be able to do that. You can have the weird one glass, one not glass kind of awkward look, and these are much more natural looking. Uh, again, it is a little bit larger, but keep in mind that it's a, it's a prototype and it works pretty well. Uh, I'm impressed. Uh, again, it's not something that we're going to be using anytime soon, but you can see here on the screen that they're using it in a warehouse. And I can see that being uh, really, really good in a big warehouse where they have a bunch of different item categorizations. So while they're doing their routes to pick up the certain merchandise they need to find, uh, they can do so finding the information here on their eye. So this is the Toshiba Glass. Look for more information in the next couple months as the prototype develops. I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks. If you know me at all, you know that I have loved Koss headphones for years. Well, it's 2015, Koss has a new lineup, and let me tell you, it is stellar. Koss's new BT540i is without a doubt the best sounding Bluetooth headphone on the market with a great price and minimal loss in audio fidelity. But the Pro 4S is something especially spectacular and has become my favorite sub $200 headphone. Construction is amazing with slick metal-on-metal -metal design making them look sexy and durable as can be. Their sound is unparalleled with superb clarity, warm mids, detailed highs, and a punchy tight bass to match. Hearing is believing. Go to cost.com to learn more.